You are watching Access the Port County Channel 97. Coming up next is the August 30th meeting of the Michigan City Sanitary Board. You can find more information for this meeting at www.accesstheportcounty.org. Um, I'd like to welcome the public and everybody in the room to our regular um, Sanitary District monthly meeting. Wednesday, August 30th, we moved it from the previous week, so um, at 4 p.m. Um, it is now 4.19. Again, sorry, but our executive uh, session went over. So um, I'd like to do a roll call. Holt Edinger. Present. Chris Yagowski. Present. Tim Warner. Present. Tim Smith. All commissioners are present. I'd like to ask for approval of the last month's meeting uh, minutes, Wednesday, July 26th. Can I get a motion to approve those minutes? Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, I'm going to ask for public comment. Go ahead. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Smith. I have a uh, just a question to the board in, in the district uh, because <clears throat> I sponsored a uh, a resolution to the city council as far as five people that are living on Lakeshore Drive to uh, give them permission to tap into the uh, sanitary district's uh, pump station out in Long Beach. And now I hear that it's been rejected by the uh, by the board, and I would like to know why it's been rejected by the board. So. Um even done, even though the city council sponsors a um, resolution like that, that doesn't mean that we have to approve it um, just because you guys sponsor it. Um, you know, that was something that the city council um, put in place. We still have our same procedure that we've had always with um, um, sewer systems. Um, and um, it was the city council that, that put in place the new procedure on that. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, we don't have to approve anything if we don't think that it that it's in our good, you know, it is is what uh, works with our sewer system or in, or in our, um, you know, good for us. So basically, we haven't said no to them. We've tabled it. Um, we have an issue that we discussed in an executive session today about our sewers, that uh, capacity levels. And if you recall, the city council denied the bond issue over in Long Beach. And if that would have went through, then we would be able to be building a sewer system on Long Beach Lakeshore Drive right now um, for these five residents and I believe uh, 300 others. So those would have been rate payers to us and would have helped our system. So um, we have to... Um, do what's in the best interest of the district and without those lift stations that we designed for that program we may not have the capacity right now to hold those five those five homeowners along with seven more that want to come in and there's some of these uh, Long Beach Lakeshore Drive residents that want to back in the system now because they didn't want to pay for it previously so it was never our idea we're a utility we viewed that project as a utility and so um, we were just going to go ahead and add all those rate payers and also the system per what Long Beach requested from us. And that was in our contract. So we are at a point right now where we have to do the best thing for the citizens of Michigan City, for the, for the open land up in that area of Michigan City. And so we have to go back and re-engineer because what the city council did to try to figure out how best to support and best to provide our system and our sewer system for the, the public of Michigan City. So that's where we are with it. We are not we are in right now making a policy decision to figure out how we're going to do that and how we can also help Long Beach. But until we have people that are gonna fairly pay for the sewer system and also the capacity issue, we can't allow them to come in to, to the city of Michigan City. Hence I asked Jim Meyer, as the president of the sanitary district, to hold off on the IDIM permit for those five homes until we can figure out our capacity issue. And, and that's where we are. Okay. Thank you. Yes. I just, I just, 
heard about this here recently, so I wanted to come. Well, I might mention to come. I wanted to come and ask the question. Yeah. And, why? And I appreciate because that because when I approached, you know, I just didn't, didn't do things without doing my homework, and I wouldn't approve to let five more people just come in, whether there was capacity to let them come in. And when I brought that to the district, I was told there's plenty of capacity for these five people to come in. So well, unfortunately, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Unfortunately, after reviewing it and after the city council denying it, we realized that we didn't have capacity. So that's where we are today with the capacity issue. So, you know, again, you know, that's a, I have a different of opinion and on on uh, what the city council did compared to um, what the city, what my view is of what the sanitary district is, which is it, it's a utility, versus what happened with the with the city council. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, that that's kind of where we are. Okay, and then I have one more question from public. Where do we stand with the litigation with Long Beach and trying to get our half a million dollars back from them, from the engineering work that was done? The lawsuit is in the discovery stage. Okay. So you're okay. probably looking at minimum three or four more months okay. of that type of a situation. Um. And again, that wasn't our issue. We did everything we said we were going to do in good faith with the city. Right. Board. Yeah, I'm not. So, so I'm not pointing fingers at the board. I was okay. just asking a all right. question. That's all. Yeah. Thank you. And not to spread, not to um, get into an argument here. But Don, you were here, and I counted the meetings that we discussed Long Beach. You were here seven or ten times, seven or ten meetings that we discussed the Long Beach. So, you know, we really would like your help as our liaison to the city council on some of these things. And if you have any questions about something, I invite you to come talk to me. We can have coffee or or whatever, and we can we can discuss, you know, what's what's going on with different projects. So okay, well, I will I'll argue that point if you want to bring that up as far as how many meetings I was at you know, when, this, when this subject was uh, discussed. And I don't think I was here. So I, I pulled the minutes and you were, you were signed in. Okay. So but Still, okay, the board was talking about it, but nothing was said to me directly until one month well, before but the... Let me just I'm finish. sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I apologize. Well, yeah, just before when this thing came up, when it was going to be coming before the council at the next council meeting, and that was it. But you know, and, and Mr. Uh, Cuss, who was here at the time, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He didn't say, "Hey, you want to sit down, and have a meeting, and, and talk about this." And but Don, in all due respect to you, and, and, and I don't want to get into this, and we can discuss respect, this. I wasn't really. I said I would take it to the city council. Okay, I said I would take it to the city council. I didn't necessarily tell Mr. Cuss or any of the board members that I totally supported the idea until I heard both sides of the argument, and that's what we did. We heard both sides of the argument at the council meetings, at the meetings we had here, and I made my decision as it was made, along with the other council members, whether they voted for it or they voted against it. So. To me, I didn't come here to argue that point today. To me, that's a new point now. It's time to move forward and, so, and look at the capacity issue and what the district has to do for moving forward. Yeah. And I totally respect that. So I just state for the record that Long Beach was going to help us with our capacity issue. Now we have to find the dollars within Michigan City to do the, the capacity issues. So, okay. so I do not think, and and all respect to the council, that you guys really looked into that program. But that's that's my personal opinion again. And um, you know, I I um, went to some of those meetings, and um, some of the people that spoke in support, I don't think they were really honestly heard. So that's my personal opinion. And you know, now we have to do what you said, move forward and try to figure it out. And that's what we're trying to do. Okay. 
I'm going to respect your opinion. Okay. All right. Any other public comment? Any other public comment? Any other public comment? Seeing that there's none, public comment is closed. And um, we will go to item five, which is opening the, the quotes, bids, proposals for three different projects. There's two for each. Thank you. Where's the old where's the old famous knife? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll open, I'll open the next one. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to buy you one. Put it on a string so you don't lose it. Yeah, sir. Yeah. Sorry, that's screwing my up right here on the table so it's had more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll open that one. Okay. Yeah. Right. No stands off. Alright, yeah. Look at that. Do one, yeah, one, yeah, one, one, yeah, I thought oh, we were going to do one okay, project. Sorry. So let's do the 404 right Golf, golf yeah. 404 Golf Road, Storm, Golf, Golf, Road. Golf, okay. Golf, okay. Thank you. Golf Road, Road. Stormwater Project. Here we go. For the 404 Golf View Road Project, Woodruff of Michigan City, Indiana, and has submitted a total quote amount of $114,783 and, of course, 88 cents. I think you should do 89. <laughs> We'll about 90. <laughs> yeah, and players. then the, uh, the next quote we have is from H&G Underground out of Laporte, Indiana, and their quote is $76,805.80, 7680580. Those were the only two bids we had for that project. That's correct. Yes, sir. Okay, so what I would um, ask the um, commission is for a motion to let staff and Jim review the bids and choose the, I don't, is it a lower? Lowest responsive, responsible quote. Responsible. Okay, and review and then bring it back to us or? or yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Are any of these time sensitive? I think they need to get going. We're running out of construction season, so there's that. Right. Well, we're three weeks away from our next meeting, so I guess right. we can go ahead and have you guys review it and bring it back at the next meeting. That would be great. Okay. So moved. Second. Yeah. Right. Right. We all have four or three of them in one time. All right. Uh, <laughs> all in favor of letting staff review and bring back a recommendation to us. Holt, well, do you have a problem with that? Do you want to? All right. Uh, all in favor? Sorry. Aye. 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 Thank you. Next one. Uh, votes are for 2510 Wabash. Storm, this is Stormwater Dream Project. <clears throat> There's a quote from underground, H&G Underground Utilities, again, of the Port of Indiana. The amount of $145,933.80. One four five nine three three point eight nine. Quote <clears throat> from Woodruff and Sons of Michigan City, Indiana. And their quote is one hundred seventy four thousand. Six hundred seven dollars and eighty eight cents. One seven four six zero seven point eight eight. And so, um, again, with that one, uh, do we have another one on that one? No, that's that is it. So, I would ask the 
board if we could let staff go ahead and, and uh, review both quotes and come back at the next meeting with um, um, recommendations. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, motion passes. Right, we have quotes for the stormwater drainage correction project for 211 and 325 Maplewood Drive, 109 Elmwood Drive, and 1606 East 8th Street. First one is from Woodruff and Sons of Michigan City, Indiana for $31,627.88. Three, one, six, two, seven, point, eight, eight. Mm -hmm. And this is the other one. Next quote is from ACG Underground from the Port, Indiana. Their quote is $23,760, even. 2376.00. All right, again, I will ask for a motion for staff to review the quotes and bring back a recommendation at the next meeting, please. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Motion passes. All right. Thank you, guys. And Mike, we're going to have to get you up. Mike. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, uh, Dan McCoy is not here today. Correct. Um, do you have his report? I believe his report is in in the packet. In the packet. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you have any questions. Yeah. Is there any questions? Yeah, I, that, I didn't see anything. Any questions at all? Okay. okay. All right, Scott. Can we go to the financials, please? Thank you. Uh, on the cash balances, I'll be emailing those to you on Friday because with the budgets and the, we just got the uh, mid-year uh, amounts and I got pretty much everything reconciled that, you know, I'm down to like $1,200 now, but I still want to get it right. Yeah. So, okay. so anyways, I'll email it to you. And also the June numbers that I, or the main numbers I gave you might have like a $14,000 correction. I'll highlight it for a whole. So. Okay. Okay. So, but saying all that, our cash did improve a little bit okay. in the current month. Right, so. Uh, the next thing are the budget performance reports uh, for the operating fund. And I think all these are still pretty much in line at the bottom. So like the first one, we're actually, the operating fund, we're at half our budget on expense. And you know, we're seven months into the year. So uh, another point on the operating fund, at the next meeting, I'll be coming to you with that budget for next year. That one, you guys approve. It doesn't need to go to the council because it's user rate. So, um, and that one also has, you know, eight departments that make it up. So uh, the next one, is the refuse fund um, and again I think we're tracking pretty good on expenses if you go to the last page I mean some of the categories third I'm sorry yeah the fourth page I'm sorry it came out and I, I was too tired because I, I knew I was going to get asked for it's page four it was either get asked for it's page four or get beat up for having a blank page 
know, so I figured it was well, safer this way. Everything we need to know. Like yeah, I um, think so. The two is still alive and done. <laughs> I see no negative numbers on four at all, so that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and again, it's at fifty-two percent. Now we're seven. And in this fund, we actually got the mid-year tax dollars too. Okay. And, they, and that's what you see the year-to-date transaction on the property tax line. So, and that came in June. So all those taxes we received in June. Okay. And uh, the net last one, stormwater. And all these are through July 31st. And stormwater again. Same thing. That one's even. The expenses are. Um, I believe I have to record the mid year expenses. On stormwater, what we do is in June and December, we record the expenses for the collection guys that do the actual work in the stormwater fund. And I don't believe I made that. So I'll, I'll do that in July. Okay. So, or August or whenever you guys want me to. Um, but I don't believe uh, that's been done. But I, again, it's pretty much right at 50%. So really, that's about it on the budget performance. And again, you can see the uh, property taxes and the other revenues we got in June. So. And all those were pretty close to what we were expecting. So that was good news. Um, so that's those three. And the next thing I have in, in your books are the budget worksheet reports for both the refuse fund and the stormwater fund. And Mr. Miladovich actually presented this to the council. And I believe it's ready for first reading. They didn't really ask us or ask you to come back with anything. No, they were satisfied, to my recollection. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, but the first reading's not until I thought it was the same day you guys were talking about, put it off. Uh, so they, that's about it on those two. And Yvonne, um, I review it, but she puts in the property tax, you know, the taxes, the revenue lines, yes. and I review them every now and then, and it kind of helps okay. between the two of us. Um, and that's that, and I just went and copied something, but it might take me too long. Hey, John, do you see that it's 10 copies of a proposed, should right be right there, on my desk right in front of me, where I would sit. No? 10 copies of what? It's called, uh, Executive Proposal. Scott, when, when was the first reading? I didn't hear that. Uh, that button. <laughs> That's the other thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I got another thing up there okay. with the first reading, but it's, I believe, the first week of September. There's the first, second, and third. And the date that someone was saying there was a workshop, I thought that was the first reading. Uh, workshop. Well, just on the to, yeah, just three minutes. Right? Maybe Councilman yeah. Prozwinski could enlighten us. What was the question again? When's the uh, first reading in September? For the budget. Budgets. When's for the, the first budget. reading for the budget? Thank you. Uh, let's see. September? I think it'll be coming up here uh, Tuesday. Number second. Yeah. yeah. I thought it could be just meant to just approve the other budget. So now it's number. Yeah. Post it up next before. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know if you heard that. But yeah, yeah. I'm just, okay. I apologize to everyone. No, no, you're fine. Put that on silent. No, but the thing 
I'll hand. I'll give you a copy at the okay. end of the meeting. That would be great. But it's a. Uh, it was the lowest proposal for a new camera truck. Now okay. I probably should wait until. Oh. Um, new business at the end, but anyways. Um, and we had three. Uh, separate demonstrations. Okay, does it have a robot that goes in there? It's into the. This is a camera for the. Um, right. Sure. The, sure. Similar to what we have now. Okay. So you know. Okay. Uh, and they liked the one I'll give you the proposal for the best, and it was also the lowest price. Okay. It was two hundred eighty-one thousand. We have money in a couple other funds, but I'm going to try to get those paid out of our bill. But we've, you know, to be fair to the council, they really helped us out with the ARPA funds. Yeah, they, so far. they did, and we yeah. appreciate that. Yeah, very so, much so, you know, if, yeah. I don't know where they're at with what, you know, what they have left. Yeah. But I'll, I'll start there. But I would ask for your approval to move forward uh, with just the ordering process. It's going to take four months to get this thing. Okay. Did we talk about this already? Yeah. Okay. The, the council needs it. I mean, if you want the commission camp, you're talking about in three weeks. At their next board meeting? I mean, they really can't. They can authorize us to, well, they to review the documents and whatnot, yeah, but I'd like to see them. Yeah, there's, yeah, no, see there's no uh, public record of what was received. Like we were just reviewed at our open bids. Right. Uh, we have to well, that's why I was trying to get the last one, but and I, you need all three quotes. Well, we need to have the dollar amounts at least for all three quotes. Yeah, but see, that three weeks, well, probably doesn't matter at this point, yeah. because that camera truck's probably not going out much in January. Okay. Right. Exactly. Number one, and number two, the back order on those things. It's, it's, could be longer than unless they happen to have one on there. Live. Well, they're months. allegedly they got six coming. Oh. And these things sit on the back of a right. Ford, Ford. Uh, Ford 550 or whatever that thing yeah. is. Yeah. Um, Do you buy the truck too? Does the truck, does truck comes with it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one call was 305000 another was 282 and best equipment who we bought most of our refuse trucks from to uh, came in at 281 okay so so good point yeah and we're gonna meet again in three weeks yeah yeah um whole documentation here before then so you can review it that'd be great well it'll be in the pack next right. time yeah I didn't get this until right just happened yeah or Tuesday yeah Okay, so, um, and that's really about all I have. Um, like I said, I will email the cash balance. I'm, and I'm not hiding anything. <laughs> just no, you're fine. Big, big, you're fine. I knew you had to get the budget and everything like that. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. And I just wanted to review May a little bit and June. Okay. And you'll probably even have, I'll have July by or August by next Friday because now we're not up again so okay so, okay that's thank that. you that's all I got yep oh I'm sorry that's one last right. thing <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> at the back as always is the claims yep oh, so, yeah. Yeah. and there's nothing um, all real right. unusual okay. Okay. okay thank you all right, so we have update in projects, but we have before that in our packet the Michigan City testing. So, Steve, are you going to come up and explain that? Well, thanks, Scott. Okay, appreciate it. Thanks, Steve. Last month, President Smith, you asked if I keep these coming. Yeah, and please I've, do. And I've done that. And this is last month's report with a fair amount of page three is new and then the last page is all new page three and four okay uh, let's 
seem to have some correlation with the rain events in the middle of the season or toward the end of the season here. But uh, these, this summary takes us through August 26th and September 5th is going to be the last day of sampling. Yeah. Okay. So any other questions on the numbers? No. So we had a pretty good rain event on the 27th or 28th of July. Mm -hmm. Looks like on page three. 28th to 29th. Yeah. It was almost a disaster. Yeah, it was over two inches the day before and then 1.4 inches in the first hour of the 29th. Oh, the 30th. Yeah. We did behind it's a little five a day. Yeah. Is there a thirty and a thirty one? Two separate tests. Mm -hmm. We're doing fourteen, twenty-four, and thirty-one right now. I was kind of see it. Have, but we switched up the stops. Okay, so that's why that's annotated that way. Okay. The reason being is the ones that we were trying to do didn't have any place for our team to park. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, uh, I think yeah. we're done with the golf cart, right? Because I saw them one day. It's the electric, uh, the gem Gen car. You call them the bubble car. Okay. <laughs> uh, going back to the projects, the, the filter building is, is half completed. We're waiting for the digest project to finish up. Right. We didn't want to complicate. The situation. So the first thing, yeah, the first thing they teach us in operator school is don't mess with more than one thing at a time. Right. Very true. Do you have an estimated completion date for the digest or Thank you. They are coming back uh, next week, uh, probably be uh, about a week's time, so mid uh, September. Mr. Barso, okay, you got to say a couple words about the 421 sewer. Really, no progress has been made. Uh, AT&T was scheduled to relocate their facility on the northwest corner of 421 and 300 North. They started earlier this week, and they put three shovels in the ground and hit it. Internet cable, so they're waiting on that to get fixed before they can relocate. Uh, the other issue that we were waiting on was uh, NIPSCO with their meter drops, one for the lift station and one for flow meter uh, near the interstate as we cross under the interstate, and still waiting on those. But, that stuff that I have for the this 421 300 North sewer and water extension. Okay, thank you. For the laboratory structural evaluation, the inspection openings were made to the exterior of the building today, and was Jenny is scheduled to come Friday. So we'll have a look at the outside and the inside. And then we'll have a quote from them. We'll, we'll have. Estimate. A repair yes. procedure with an engineer's estimate cost. Okay. Yes. On the Michigan Boulevard and Carroll Avenue sewer extension, uh, Ryan Laughlin reported uh, today, earlier today that uh, they were working through the geotechnical report, which has been received, and they are refining their opinion of probable cost for certain parts of the project. Uh, as a result. We will refine the opinion of probable cost as soon as possible and send it to you afterward. You want me to read any of these figures in terms of where they think it is now for project cost? Would, does in the board want to do that or do we want to just Hold on. Wait for no, wait till we get there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's wait till we get the proposal, Steve. Very good. Thank you. Thanks. Well, Lincoln Avenue project. Uh, we had a pre-construction kickoff meeting on August 11th. I see Kyle's left, but he was there, and I was there. Jeff Wright and Brad Minnick and 
So, do you have the in-depth permit yet? No, I don't take it. I didn't think I'd seen it come through. <clears throat> but uh, the one takeaway I got from the meeting is that order thought it was going to take five weeks to get the concrete structure. Yeah, that hasn't been updated yet. Okay. Otherwise, I'll refer the commissioners to the meeting minutes. I went through that every day. I'll give you some if you want. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next item was it's it's just uh, it's like a briefing. I was going to say a couple <laughs> words about this new ordinance 4689, which is where the city will subsidize customers' costs for repairs on lateral and taps for work done in the public right of way. The ordinance was actually passed. Um, the ordinance creating the fund was passed. Yeah. To date, there has not been an additional appropriation. And I don't know if the mayor is going to ask for one to, to get the money transferred. They appropriate the money out of the riverboat fund into that fund. Well, and then how? what's going to be the process to have people apply? And Once the money gets there, and okay. the district has proof of that, then the district will be sending letters to each of the people, persons, who had a sure repair, which included part in a right-of-way of some type, either easement or right-of-way, okay. to let them know that uh, if they already pay, that they ever can get a reimbursement of the share that they paid, the one half. And if they haven't paid yet, you know, then there'll be a advice that they should apply. Either one needs to still apply for either getting reimbursed or asking the uh, district to, to <laughs> the city's going to pay it, the, the controller's office. But, you know, we need to, we'll be doing, the district will be doing the paperwork. Okay. So will there be some, I mean, so we send letters back out to these people, right? And then they say, okay, we're going to respond. Here is our invoice or here is our billing for them. We will have already have all the billings. You do, okay. Because we already have paid on this project. Okay. <clears throat> what we need from them under the ordinance is a, re, you know, a letter, memo, something, a document saying, you know, I want to have you, the district or the city, I should say, reimburse me and or pay Okay. Uh, you know, my half of the project that was done within the right of way, uh, the cost of the project that was done within the right of way. Okay. And once we get that and verify that it's, you know, accurate and real, we forward that to the controller's office under, under the ordinance. Okay. And, you know, with a memo saying that we've reviewed it and it's appropriate type thing and recommend that it be paid from that fund. And then the controller's office would presumably make the payment and provide us documentation, you know, proving that they did so for our records. There is specific required documentation. That's what I'm. Yeah, that's what I was trying to yeah, get to. So, I mean, is there an invoice or whatever? We send the letter out, but then what did they send back to us? So then we can give that to the controller's office. And I know we have some already. You know, yeah. I mean, do we have a form? Not, not requests, but I information. Yeah. I mean, that yeah, we have a the last They have to before. send us a request in writing. They don't but have it, to send an invoice. But I guess that will be stipulated in the letter, right? Yes. So, is oh, yeah. there a form that we can? We will have a form. Nobody's really done anything because it's unsure whether the mayor is going to ask okay. for the additional appropriation. And I don't know if you've received. Mr. Uh, yeah, I it's on the council agenda coming up. Okay. For I, the appropriation for it? I looked at the latest agenda and it wasn't on there. But anyway, once, you know, they've got to have three meetings, it's hard to do it in two yeah. if it, you know. Right. So we still have to wait $150,000 to be moved. Yeah, because it's not right. appropriated yet. Right. 
So, so would the document show, uh, we paid our portion of it, would it show the total cost so we would know what they're The back invoice, there will be a copy of the invoice from the contractor okay. showing how much of the cost, total cost, <coughs> how much of that's attributable to work done in the public outside way. of the public right of way, and how much of it was done cost in the, in the right of way. And then it will show, I mean, you, any simple mathematical divide by half. Mm -hmm. But, and then we'll, we will have shown that we paid half. Now, going forward, you know, then this will all happen ahead of time. Uh, okay. It seems like but we have to wait until we get the money. Yeah, it just seems from our standpoint that's a little cumbersome. You know, if we send out a letter to these people saying, hey, the funds are there. The funds aren't there. No, I know, I understand that. But we're not going to do anything until the funds so are there. Right. So when the funds are there, we send out a form that basically says, turn this back into us, so then we can turn it into the city controller's office. Right. That would, but I think a standardized form, because I feel sorry for these guys, they get this letter from us and say, well, what, what are we supposed to do next? So I, 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 you know, how, what yeah, am I supposed prepare to prepare a very brief form? Just, I think we need to prepare a form. Can you do no. that for us, please? Yeah, we, I will do that. Okay. I will do the letter, whatever okay. needed, once the money gets into the fund. Yeah, no, I, I, we're not discussing that. We're discussing okay. process. So, right. So, no, you the process for, for, for lateral cat permits. Pardon me, Scott? you got to get a permit first. No. Wow. That's true. But we shouldn't make have these a similar form for we, we, yeah. we shouldn't make these folks do that. I mean, once the form is in the letter that we send out to them, for sending out a letter, that's it. That should be just it. We should just go ahead and they should send that back to us. Right. Right. Holt, mm -hmm. are you okay with that? Yeah. Well, let's just get that. I mean, we we have the list of people. Why it. wouldn't you just say you have a refund coming? Show us proof that you paid it, and we just give them. They come down here for a check. Because we don't have the money. We don't have the money, sir. <laughs> no, we're never going to have it. We don't. We have it. Because because the, 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 the district does not yeah. get the money. Yeah. Yeah. They, oh, they, so, okay. yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So let's make it easy on them right. by putting a form out there saying, you send this to this address, which is on the controller, you know, show us this proof, and then no, the controller. No, they're not sending it to us because we have the right here. Okay, yeah. so then someone for the city. Since we were involved in the project, we have to sign off on it saying this is accurate. Right. And, and then, then they issue the check. Yeah. So if we have a standardized form, then that should be all that we need to do for them. So I'll clear his mind. All right. Thank you. So let me just ask, maybe I missed something, but when a job is done, you know, uh, we, we said that they're going to be able to break down the percentage of a, what we're going to pay for. The okay, contractor, but, but the contractor may be also going on to their personal property and doing some things as well Absolutely. in the total uh, cost. So how are we going to differentiate? The contractor does that. The contractor okay. is required to provide an invoice that sets forth how much the value, how much of the cost, total cost, is attributable to the private property, how much is attributable to what's called the right of way. And then we I forgot to make copies and like to that. No, I get that. I, I, the first part. That information is on what form? The invoice. The invoice of from, from okay. the contractor. But I'm not okay. I'm not talking the total price. I'm talking about us. about four right. or five. And they're old. Correct. Mm -hmm. right. right. I know. I know how to our, on okay. our bill, but they pay two. Yeah. I mean, right. It shows yeah. the yeah. We'll go through bill the amount you're doing that. for the work done on the private property. I need to go. And the bill amount yeah. done for the work done within the right of way. And then, of course, it shows the total. Yeah. Okay. At least the ones I've seen. <laughs> and they're all that way. And the cost. Okay. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I think he's just going to report on it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, um, Steve had to go make a copy of something for us. So, Jim, I'm going to drop down to we have staff reports Mike um, is there anything in regards to staff reports that anyone wants to make note of at this time I had a couple things um, Tony Basil's report about the middle of the page first page he says 
He was on site for a few hours on Route 212 where Reef Riley hit a force main during covert pipe installation. The report composed in August detailing prior correspondence with INDOT. I would just like to know who that prior correspondence was to at INDOT and when it was done. Which because we should have You're talking about the second page. Uh, the second page. The third page. But just the, the first page of Tony's Tony's report, Tony's. which is the fourth page of the the items. So middle of the page. Just fifth bullet point. Yeah. One, two, three, oh, four, the yeah. fifth bullet point. Sorry. Didn't I say that? What's it say you got? Oh, he says, he yeah. says that in August they detailed the report composed in August prior to the correspondence with that. I'd just like to know who that correspondence with was at INDOT because INDOT should have given us pretty good information of where the sewer was going to go, this culvert, and we would have had information of where our force main was. I think there were a couple of issues, John, you can speak to this maybe or confirm, but uh, that uh, the size of the line was altered uh, from the 15 to the 30 without us being aware of it, and well, the drainage structure itself. The right. culvert they, the right. that was they replacing went from the 15 to the 30. Size. And then one other issue was that we never received uh, notice a 30 day in advance of the project. Right. Yeah, and that's why I just want to know who it was. That and there is a name. I, I, yeah. I just when you get a chance, just let me know. I'll have absolutely to pick with somebody. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and just for your information, right now we're. Um, Woodruff was the uh, kind of emergency contractor that was summoned that uh, was able to assist right, us immediately. We, and, uh, we, had, we had back your trucks out there uh, pulling out material so we didn't have any violation issues. Uh, but anyway, uh, it, I've asked them if they can fast track the, the cost so we have some idea of what, what that is about the uh, fire road road station and the, uh, the the damage to our force main. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I just I just am disappointed to see that that didn't have the uh, clearance for our force main that was there. I just want to know who was talked to it in that. Absolutely. Yeah, so you let me know that. that. I appreciate it. Yep. Yeah, that and the discussion is, is a little more in uh, Joshua Barnett's report too about what are doing the repair and how long they were out there. So that, right. Yep, so thank you. That was all I had on the reports. So Steve, we skipped on did staff reports while you were gone, so mm -hmm. we're going to go back to you. And um, I think you're on, um, you just finished the Lincoln Avenue sewer pro replacement. We're on, uh, we did the sewer sanitary laterals, re equipment replacement. Yeah, we're on O. Yeah. Uh, we've got our new real order. Let's go. Yeah, three yard bucket, low miles, low hours. Look how clean that bucket is. Yeah, it looks really yeah. nice. Too <laughs> clean. It was used for snow. <laughs> hmm. so that, that's good news for us. Put uh, some dirt on that bucket. Yeah, yeah. indeed. <laughs> <laughs> it look like we're using it right now, please. <laughs> we don't <laughs> it's, it's already been in a slug uh, <laughs> quite a few times, okay? Kevin, you've been pushing that through the dirt already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, my hand I didn't make it in for the Strebel Pond and White Dish Ditch Vegetation Maintenance, but <clears throat> RUS completed their last services for calendar 2023 on Friday last week. Okay. With spraying invasive species and that sort of thing. <clears throat> Next item is just a, kind of a budget and progress update of what's been done with the 2022 uh, Brownfields grant. Uh, reminding everybody that the amount of the grant was four hundred, four hundred thousand four hundred and fifty dollars, and to date, we worked on at least three different projects plus programmatic requirements. And out of that money so far, we have spent fifty-seven thousand nine hundred and fourteen dollars and forty-six cents. I just got some more Yeah. So that's, that's going along. Uh, Mike, you might. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Let me skip the staff report. Yeah, we already did that. Um, 
Okay, the next item is, is staff. You didn't do none. What? No, no. Here we go. Well, we didn't do nine. We just did the um, staff monthly report, Steve. So if there's something in nine, the staff organization would consider it. This will be kind of new for you guys. I don't know if you want me to put it on the table now. Just wait till three weeks and leave it up to you. Well, why don't you present it, please? Yeah. And then we can, if there's something that we want to vote on, then we can vote on it in three weeks, if that's okay with you. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> People might be curious about what's changed on here, so refer you to the back page. It's based on the, the most recently approved version, June 22, 2022 meeting. Um, this is the correction part to the org chart. As it was listed back then, the chart had engineers one and two reporting directly to the general manager. And Mike, I believe it's your intention that you want them to report directly to me as they really have an effect anyhow. For yes, sir. That's a long time. Um, and skip to item number three. That the, the, the GIS coordinator has essentially reported to me since 2018. I consider that sort of a correction as well. And then item two is uh, sort of amended the, the, the refuse department superintendent mm -hmm. to include uh, fleet management uh, responsibilities for the refuse department and the sewage collections department. Maintenance is quite good with their own vehicles, so we uh, need to look after them. Um, if you're satisfied with that presentation, I ask the board's approval for the proposed organizational chart. Do we have any? Any questions? Are there job description amendments that go with these? I'm going to pass those out next. Oh, okay. So, should we look at the job descriptions before we pass the org chart? Certainly. Okay. okay. Refuse Superintendent slash Refuse and Collections Fleet Manager. Uh, this position to be responsible for planning, directing, managing, coordinating, and supervising the Refuse Department, as well as the programs for acquisition, assignment, utilization, maintenance, repair, replacement, and disposal of Refuse and Collections Department vehicle and mobile equipment fleets. Um, this position is going to be responsible for all aspects of refuse, the collection of the trash, its transportation to the disposal facility, its disposal. This would be for solid waste generated by Michigan City Sanitary District customers. Um, it's the, way, the way I've written this is the position received, receives direct supervision from the operations manager, manager General supervision from the general manager. Just so the board knows, currently the uh, superintendent makes sixty-four thousand, or would make sixty-four thousand for the employees. So now with this added responsibility, we may have to reduce it. I was going to ask for that probably at the next meeting. Okay. Well, we can decide that at the next meeting. What would you like us to do with this right now? Just um, 
Is it just for information before next meeting? Yeah. Or do you want us to take action on it? What would you like? It's unclear to me whether we need a board action on the job description. Yes, you can. I'll ask for approval for the job description then. Okay. Um, what is the call for application? When do you go out for application? Um, after you've approved it, we can advertise it. Can we get a look at this prior? I know, but I read it now. I mean, most of this is this. What's changed from the previous description, other than the fleet management? There actually it wasn't one. This is this is I've reworked the uh, assistant superintendent of collections approved job description to, to produce this one. Okay. It had much of the latter uh, scaffolding and the general requirements and so mm -hmm. forth. Yeah, well, I guess since he reports to you, you've got everything you want in it, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay. Any um, other discussion on that? Uh, Should we have a total understanding of what the salary is going to be? Yeah. I'm going to say I'm going to have to adjust it. Yeah. That's why I said I don't know. We're not, I, I get I really don't. So I guess at this point. You may want to wait until the next meeting. Yeah, yeah, why don't we wait until the next meeting and we'll take everything at the same time. And that's the same with the org chart, too, unless you need something from the org chart right now. Okay. So let's do, let's do the salary. Let's do the job description and then do the org chart. So let's put it in that order, please. And Fred, I did include that array in the current budget. And there's couple positions in that budget that you probably won't so we have some room in the budget for the additional responsibility. All right. All right. So um, get that all taken care of then then item 10 FMLA extension request Steve. Yes. Um, because it's a personnel matter you should keep the name anonymous okay Everything else is fine. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Um, all right. So this is a current staff member that's on family leave and he, Steve is asking us as the board to extend the family leave until Monday. Um, it's already passed. It's already passed. An, unpaid, an unpaid extension. An unpaid extension, which I know you would have done at the last meeting, so and we didn't have it. So and she did return okay. yeah, on Monday the twenty eighth. So I would ask the board for a motion to grant the extended family leave for this um, employee. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Steve, for everything. Um, Jim? I don't really have anything to talk about other than as I, as I mentioned before about the Long Beach litigation there in the discovery phase, which means sending out you guys are probably familiar with such things where interrogatories, requests for production, requests for admissions. At some point there will be some motions filed, I'm sure. But that probably won't be for a couple months. And you're overseeing all of that, so we're in good shape. Okay. Um, 
So I would ask for Scott. We don't have them, but the yeah. 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 Have do we have them? Oh, yeah. Not in my. I don't have them in my packet. Sorry. Um, okay. Can I get the uh, an approval for uh, um, revenue and tax levy claims for payment, please? Can I get a motion, or is there any discussion first? Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, all the um, uh, tax levy claims is approved for this month. Any old business? Yep. There was a, a gentleman that came in 30 seconds after we ended public. Um, Higgins, I believe was his name. Yeah. And he was going to request, do you remember what? Because <laughs> he had mentioned something after the meeting, after he stayed for the whole meeting, we were going to move him up to the front of the public, but I see he wasn't here today. Um, he was at last meeting, yeah. Yeah. I believe that regard is Tribal Pod. I do believe so, too. Oh, yeah. But he wanted something. to do a, he, well, he, he had an event right. out there, and he wanted to ask permission to do it again. Yes. All right. Something he had, uh, an event that he done in the past. And I think our, our change of date yeah. had an impact on <laughs> Sidestepped him, and, yeah. and I, do you remember anything about that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do. I very do. And thank you for bringing that up. Um, uh, can we go ahead we and just reach out to him? Or? Reach out to him? Or, Rachel, you said yes. So he, he's do you have anything about that at all? I can find something from our previous meeting because he was here, yeah. I believe, a few years back, and it was for the same. Yeah, it was a diabetes or yes. diabetes walk with that. Can we just, I mean, I don't know what, what timing he has on that, so I hate to mess him up. Um, as long as there's no conflicts or anything, I think if we contact him, you can approve Yeah, can we just allow... As long as there are no remedial Yeah, if there's no conflicts, can I have a motion to let staff, Mike, yes. reach out to him and um, find out the details and just if there's no conflicts, go ahead and approve it? So moved. Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks for bringing that up. Yes. Yeah, thanks yeah. for bringing that up. Nope. So, we'll inform you. You guys go ahead and, yeah, maybe. No date and all that, but we'll okay. verify it. But. Okay. Thanks, Holt. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. Any new business? Any new business? Any new business? Seeing that there's none, I'm going to ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Aye. We stand adjourned, <laughs> and thank you also for the time that you guys spent on the executive meeting today, um, and see you guys at our next regular scheduled meeting, September 27, 2023.